later, Charlie. Who do you think you're talking to? Tick a tock, Shit. Fucking with me. I got good all over my motherfucking Baby. Chill out, baby. Everything's cool. We're steady. Relax, you know. I'll be back. You know I'm gonna come back for you. It ain't no problem. Buffalo girl, you know that. Cause, cause baby, baby, baby. Cause you know, you know when I get back, I'm gonna bust that shit out to the max. Okay, hunky. Put up your wallet and give me your hands. <laughs> I ain't giving you shit. No. No, come on. You're supposed to. This must be your first mugging. It's that obvious, huh? What am I doing wrong? You lack confidence, my man. In order to pull this off, you gotta put fear in the heart of your victim, man. Now get me the gun and let me show you how it's done. Oh, would you? No problem. Thank you. <laughs> you pathetic, honky, son of a bitch. If you ever Pull a gun on me again, I'll blow your fucking brains out. You hear me? Now give me your motherfucking wallet, white boy. Give me your gun. <laughs> well, officer, I bet you think I was trying to mug this gentleman. No. I thought you two were rehearsing a scene for Miami Vice. Let me introduce myself. My name is Charlie Barnett, actor, comedian, educator, and well-known handgun collector. I was trying to buy that gun. It used to belong to Bernard Getz. Bernard Getz, huh? Hmm. Well, I do have a gun collection. What you want for it? Well, I just paid this dude $20. $20,000, but because my man was down and out on his luck, I offered him an even foul out of pity. I mean, look at the man. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's a uh, hundred, twenty, hundred and forty bucks. Let's forget this whole thing ever happened. That, that was Most... really impressive. Yeah, most cops are dumber in person than they look on TV. No, no but I mean, that was like, what we call clever, you know? I mean, like, how'd you get so smart? College! College? College! <laughs> Let me show you. Check this out, man. Check it out. If you are in college, about to begin college, or never even thought about college, then we've created at great expense the Charlie Barnett Guide to Higher Education just for you. Not available in any store, banned on campuses, coast to coast. Yours for a limited time, only at this special low, low introductory price. Say you don't have four years and 40 grand to put yourself through college? Hey, no problem. The cassettes. Charlie, lay off. Charlie Barnett has created a great personal space. An educational program that gets you a college education in 40 minutes instead of four years. Hey, you guys got a football team? Tell them about you know who. You tell them. Now, here's a typical graduate. Charlie, remember when you gave me that video cassette of Charlie Barnett's Guide to Higher Education? Yeah. Well, it helped me so tremendously, man, that I was able to finish my album, Living the Book of My Life. The message is just like Charlie Barnett's Guide to Higher Education. I mean, if, if I hadn't listened to what you said on that tape, I'd probably be somewhere pumping gas, man. Hey, uh, isn't he the other black dude on the show? To receive your copy of this priceless, timeless treasure of college secrets at this special one-time-only TV price of $29.95, dial toll free 1-800-CHARLY. Operators are standing by. So, how do I find out more, you know? Follow me, kid. So you got potential, my man. We yeah. just made a hundred some odd together, you understand what I'm saying? Taxi! See, I Nothing here, just wait till you check out my operators. You're gonna love it. Hi, I'm Candy, and I'm your operator. I'm also a freshman in Charlie Barnett's Guide to Higher Education. Begin your adventure to higher education by calling me at 1-800-C-H-A-R-L-Y. Or by calling me. I'm Sybil and I'm a graduating senior. Charlie Barnett made me. Let him do the same for you.
Order now and you'll also receive this free gift at no extra charge. Hey, I was a friend and a big fan of Elvis's. That's why I'm pleased to announce this special commemorative anniversary offer. This beautifully handcrafted decanter chess set. Each piece recreates a character from one of 32 Elvis movies. Like take this dude here. Here's Mike McCoy from Speedway. Check it out. Hey, King, you're on. Mike Richards from Paradise Hawaiian Style. Mike Wingren from Fun in Acapulco. Mike Edwards from It Happened at the World's Fair. And the unforgettable Lucky Mike Jackson from Viva Las Vegas. Hey, you're probably wondering, was he himself a chess player? Hey. The Vato was a chess master, man, you know? Like, I personally spent a lot of nights doing chess with him. Hey, wait a minute, they're all kings. Hey, Elvis, look, the pizzas are here. <laughs> but, man, look, I never even made it out of kindergarten, you know? If you can do this, then you can get into college without any academic qualifications. Let Charlie show you how it works. Just show up the first day, get a room off campus, sign up for classes. You'll be able to get several semesters under your belt before the registrar catches up with you. Mr. Barnett, we have a little problem. You've been in the college for four semesters, and we don't seem to have a record of your admissions, okay? What you think, I just showed up here and started taking classes? I'm afraid, until you can supply us with some official proof. Right now, as we speak, my poor old mama's in the county hospital, you know, the charity ward, suffering from incurable anhedonia, and the only thing that's keeping her alive is the dream of her only son, me, graduated from this institution of higher learning. I'm afraid you'll have to come up with something better than that. I mean, please. Bitch, I'll be back. <laughs> I must be losing my motherfucking mind to be doing this. I got to wear a dress. I got to wear this. I got to wear everything for Charlie. To... Uh-uh. No, 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 Charlie. I ain't wearing this wig, boy. I'm... Fuck you, ain't wearing this wig, man, oh, passing me and shit. Well, you already got on a dress with some fake oh, man, titties, man. Look, look, don't oh, wait. Listen, Why I got wig? you just not gonna knock you out of the hunk of the yeah, muck Yeah, man, it's gonna that. knock me out of some pussy, though, man. I can't be wearing this damn wig, well, man. I, I, I got wait. something to feel like pussy. Now, well, not this quite. Is, uh, no, this ain't no pussy, bro. This it. is, don't this is. Woo! Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Feel like I want to sing. Yeah. How you doing, mama? Woo, I feel like a mother. I want you to meet the woman that's trampling your dreams into the mud. Baby, who is this woman? This woman is ill. She should be in a hospital. I mean, come on. I just got her out of the hospital, and it wasn't easy. Something has to be done. I will graduate from college, even if I have to go to the ACLU, the NAACP, the NBA. Yeah, the NBA? We have been to the mountain. Yeah. We have seen yeah. the promised land. Yeah. We will not be denied. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Anything you want. See how they treat colored people? You're in the school. Just get her to a hospital, okay? I mean, come on. Enough is enough. Come on. Now that you have officially enrolled in school, it's time to acquire a fine college crib. In other words, a room. Just one. I am a high-energy quotient student from Uganda. 
<laughs> I got a gun, slug that's got more energy than you. Oh, maybe, but in my country, I am known as one steaming dude. The only steaming dude in your country are steaming in pots. <laughs> oh, 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 you are a very funny man. <laughs> Yes. Take the stereo out to the car. It's a Machiavelli parked out by the campus gate. Oh, I keep it be most happy to help you. Thanks for your tolerance. Campus security, I want to report a burglary in progress. I just saw a 10-foot tall African stealing my stereo at the back door of Eisenhower Hall. Sure. <laughs> No problem. Thank you. Ow, <laughs> big man, bingo, motherfucker, foo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, the signal. I've officially moved in. And what is a new home without a family? What? You can't stand your family? Well, then you'll love our next free gift. You may ask yourself, is this my beautiful daughter? You may ask yourself, is this my adoring wife? You may ask yourself, is this my lovely grandmother? And you may say to yourself, how could you have a family like this? Each month, you will receive another loving family member. Zelda the showgirl turned loving wife. Loving kids, Jason and Heather. Bob, Zelda's out of work alcoholic brother from Detroit. And let's not forget Grandmom. Is she a benevolent oldster or psycho killer? Tesca say! And if you act now, we'll even send you the family pet. I call mine Laurie Anderson. Blow up your own nuclear well, family today. And well, don't just settle well, for well, talking well, heads. Well, as a rule, all college students want to have sex. But due to the popularity of a variety of social diseases, none of which I have, by the way, it's not as easy to get laid in college as it used to be. I have my own technique. Follow me. I'll show you how to get the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> ah. It don't make white folks like they used to. Check around here. See what's up. Gotta be some freak around here to do the right thing for a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yo, baby, let me introduce myself. My name is Charlie Barnett. I'm a Libra. My birthstone is concrete. My lucky number is six. I'm trying to get together with a nine. We can do the 68. You do me, and I'll owe you one, baby. <laughs> baby, that sounds divine. Let me get some protection. They're much more sensitive than other girls. Jeez. And to help you get that foot out of your mouth, we're offering this next free gift. Hi, I'm an actress, and I'm also a woman. And I've heard every come online in the book, from Warren Beatty to Joe Theismann. But when I was a co-ed, I found out that it took a special kind of pickup line to conquer the college woman. And that's why Charlie Barnett asked me to compile this fine LP of the 101 greatest college pickup lines of all time. You'll hear such great pickup lines as... I can tell you've been hurt. And you'll certainly remember this timeless favorite. It's hard to admit, but I think I'm gay. And what about the all-time classic? I love you. A painful childhood can be a valuable asset to a man. Women are attracted to oh, a man's pain like moths to a flame. And that's why Charlie Barnett is offering absolutely free when you receive this Greatest Pickups LP, this beautiful photo album of the 25 most painful childhood experiences. 
Guaranteed to impress co-eds, why struggle with intimacy? Why come up with stories on your own? Now we do it for you. And remember, girls, if you don't want to be picked up, there's always the tried and true comeback of... Obviously, sir, my breasts are bigger than your balls. <sighs> co-eds may seem intelligent, but underneath a co-ed's sensitive exterior, there still lives a girl. If you have any problems memorizing lines from my greatest hits album, let me suggest something a little less risky. Jeez. Mm. 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 Thanks. It's more than one way to skin a cat. Run a puppy, get some pussy. Right. You're an excellent candidate for senior project engineer, especially with your background in integrated analog design. But I'm afraid that we're looking for someone with six semesters of the modern French novel. This never happens in the real world. No human, not even your mother, cares what courses you take in college. But later in life, you will find it does help to drop the names of the classics. You say the classics are long, boring, and difficult to steal? Hey, no problem. Check out my next free gift. For centuries, man has struggled against the limits of his intelligence. Now Charles Barnett has flung open the doors of the ivory tower. Yes, even the most enfeebled intellect will be able to comprehend Dr. Barnett's brilliant reinterpretation of the classics. You might expect to pay fifty, a hundred dollars for this handsome simulated leatherette binding alone. Dr. Barnett has not only made it possible for you to own the binding, but to actually understand the compelling human drama behind the pretension of these great works that have bored so many for so long. The Good Earth, a romantic love story set in the pastoral splendor of imperial China. Good Earth, what's so fucking romantic about dirt? We eat on it, sleep on it, it gets in our teeth. Give me split lover in our chino, anytime. Come with me now and experience for yourself the action, the adventure, the violence of Melville's Moby Dick. A 90 foot wide well named Moby Dick. Shit, I'll show you what a fucking Moby Dick really looks like. The noble honor of a tale of two cities. <laughs> No way, cool the blade. You got the wrong nigga, Jack. You're French. We all look alike to you. This ain't a far, far better thing for this dude. Please. Yes, this commanding 3,000 volume treasury is yours for not so much as a farthing. Our esteemed operators are at your disposal. Okay, ladies. Friends are not important now. But after college, friends become connections. When you use friends, and friends use you, it's no longer friendship, it's networking. In order to meet new friends, you have to go out and socialize. I used to think you could make friends and money at the same time. I was sadly mistaken. Yo, my man. Yo, what's up, man? You want to buy a watch? Nah, I don't need nothing. Nah, how about a pair of glasses, my nah, man? I don't, I don't need glasses? Uh, no, no, nah, I don't need up, nothing. Man? I got plenty of watches, hey, man. Hey, look, why don't you just take a walk, okay? I'm not in the mood for this. Okay? Well, what's your problem, hey, I'm man? I'm sick and tired of guys like you doing this stuff to me, all right? Well, well, yeah, I got what, my what own problem. What am I doing to you, man? What do you mean, what are you doing to me? I got my own problems, all right? I got a dog that's got BD and don't hurt to me. Let me tell you something, bunny. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Why don't you? What are you got? I was on You got a problem? God damn it. Chill out, man. Yo, man, I was. The problem with making new friends is you usually end up fighting anyway. And since the only thing you really want is those important future connections, and let me tell you, it doesn't matter if you know them. The most important thing is they know and like you. And the only way to get people to like you is to make them laugh. <laughs> this is my impression of a Polish guy masturbating. <laughs> But 
let's talk about black folks. Let me tell you about black men. We got any black people out there? Dig this. Dig this, white kids. Let's talk about the black kids. <laughs> that way you'll really laugh. Hear this. Black men will not admit they eat pussy. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> do you eat pussy? <laughs> See, black men won't admit it. Yo, brother with them funny glasses. Do you eat pussy? <laughs> See there? See there? He grabbed the girl in front of him and said, Shut the fuck up, don't you say nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? Black men won't admit this shit, man. Who else is black out here? I don't see too many. Yo, brother, don't try to hide. <laughs> see that? See that? The nigga ain't even black no more. He talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but most black men won't admit this shit. Any more niggas out there? Oh, there goes one. Oh, that's a, he hide. Excuse me, this Negro trying to hide. <laughs> Do you eat pussy? <laughs> see, he don't even know what we talking about. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you know what's real funny? This is a true joke. White guys will admit it. See, white guys eat pussy with dignity. A knife and fork. Right? But niggas don't eat pussy. Niggas don't eat pussy. Niggas gorilla the pussy. We be talking about ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? The woman be saying, wait a minute, motherfucker. God damn saying, shit. And even I do. I'm with the white man on this shit. If you don't, somebody else will. <laughs> I like black people, don't get me wrong. I notice we're fucked up too. You know what bothers me? I don't understand why black men always hold their dick. I don't know why. Why do we do that, bro? <laughs> huh? See, the nigga don't know, <laughs> right? What about Chinese? Where the Chinese girl go? Are you Chinese? What if we got married and lived in Harlem, had some little black Chinese babies? How would they act when they grow up? Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> Yo, bro, give me five. Hi -oh, hi -oh. <laughs> and Popeye, what about that cartoon Popeye? Popeye is responsible for a lot of men dating ugly women. <laughs> I mean, look at Popeye fighting Bluto, eating spinach, fighting Bluto, eating spinach over this ugly bitch. <laughs> Olive is ugly. Her legs go all the way up to her neck, right? She looks like a slinky. And I'll be honest with you, I don't care what you think of me, I'd rather fuck Bluto. I have a fantasy. I wonder what it would be like fucking on the moon. Use your imagination. Fucking on the moon. Wee! Wah! The young lady hit you with an upstroke. Boom! <laughs> your ass go past Pluto! I like everybody. I like sex. I like the way women make noise in bed. I've dated all nationalities, man. I used to have a Jewish girlfriend. Are you Jewish, honey? You are? How do Jewish women make noise in bed? Just the noise. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, I may be black, but I know. Is that your girlfriend, my man? No. She's a pretty girl. You got good taste anyway. But she don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. Okay. <laughs> no, but how do Jewish women? I know. I fucking know. <laughs> right? Je Jewish women, they go, they go, oy vey. <laughs> right? West, the black folks are like this. West Indian women. Break it off in me, man. Hit me with the coconut. <laughs> Not to mention American black women. Yo, mama, run it down. I know you know. <laughs> and you know I know. Black women get real loud. Sound like a fucking rodeo. We be making love in Harlem. Niggas in Newark be yelling, shut the fuck up. Right? 
They don't be black women, they be talking about. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, come on. Right? But I never had an Oriental woman. I wonder what it would be like if I married a Chinese girl. To be honest, I want one real fucking bad. I go to Chinatown and fake it like I'm Chinese. I be standing on the corner talking about, oh. <laughs> she look at me and go, no, you nigga. <laughs> oh, look, that's a Chinese. Are you Chinese, sir? Half Chinese? All the motherfucking Orientals in America are half. What the other half, motherfucker? <laughs> Take your hand out your pockets. We know what you're doing. Because you know you Chinese people got them little bitty baby dicks. Y'all yeah, be talking about, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but no, you know, like, this is a true joke. I used to go to peep shows in New York. They call it show world, where there's girls dancing in the booths, and there's a lot of little booths, so you can see the guy across from you. I swear to God, the funniest thing I ever saw in my fucking life, right, was a Chinaman beating his meat. <laughs> I mean, you motherfuckers are... <laughs> and he had a little bitty dick. <laughs> and you know what cracked me up when he came? He said, oh, <laughs> made my dick hard and I knocked him out the booth. <laughs> he was only on the other side. I don't mean to fuck with the Orientals, but I'm from New York, and you know what's, f there goes a Chinaman there. Don't get mad, man, I talked about niggas, you was laughing your ass off. <laughs> eh? That shit was funny, you was going, oh, y'all don't nigga roll funny. All oh, black people so funny, so funny. Eh? We got Orientals, we got Mexicans, Mexicans, Mexicans. <laughs> Mexicans, we got a lot of fucking Mexicans. But I'm not gonna fuck with the Mexicans because y'all born. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all born with knives. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> They'll cut you up and you won't even know what they're saying. Me to me to the Casino Empire. Because okay? I got into a fight with a Mexican, no offense, but I was winning. I was bouncing around like Sugar Ray Leonard. I was bam, 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 bam. He was only about that tall, right? Then all of a sudden, he went like this. <laughs> and I was surrounded by a small Mexican family of 4,000. <laughs> I knew they were related. They all came running out this little kitchenette, you know? I love every fucking body. You'd be surprised what I like. I even like the KKK. Got real quiet, all the black, look at him frowning now, right? I do, brother, fuck you, I do, fuck you. They always got the signs, beat up a Negro, beat up a Negro, come on, Herbie, beat up a Negro in a white neighborhood. Why don't they go to Harlem and say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, we could use the sheets. Oh, wow, look, the girl is on his shoulders. Yo, my man. Yo, she's on the wrong side. Come here. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. She's a pretty girl. What if we got married, honey? We'll be a mixed couple. <laughs> Our babies will come out with a blue eye and a big lip. <laughs> oh, wow, look at my man's glasses. The boy, niggas out here are funny looking. <laughs> Let me see him. Very I, fragile, very fragile. I, I like your bald head. <laughs> Don't hang around no bowling alleys. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck niggas doing with this? These are, you a California nigga, huh? <laughs> yeah. Damn nigga, you can't see shit. <laughs> you don't have to get high. <laughs> Put these, I'm high now. These are great glasses, man. Wow, I like these motherfuckers. I'll give you $5 a lens. You got you covered. You got me covered? You even talk like a white boy. <laughs> Damn, they don't make niggas like they used to. <laughs> Here you go, my man. I like everybody, though. I like pocketbook too. Hi, honey. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is a fucking joke. This is a fucking joke. <laughs> Thanks for giving to the United Negro College Fund. <laughs> the police are coming. <laughs>
You're pretty funny. Do some more. <laughs> Damn. Don't worry, honey. I'll give it back after the show. Whose is it? It's yours? Don't worry. You get it back after the show. OK? And maybe I'll go to bed with you. Oh, you have money in here. Don't worry, honey. I'll give it back. Look at this. Yo, 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 baby, you may laugh, but my dick's on the money. I like the way white women walk with their pocketbook when there's no niggas around. I don't see no niggas. Then we got gay people. Are there any gay people out there? Come out, you fucking homo. I got my homo detector. New, 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 new. No, I'm only kidding, my man. I'm not gay. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> but did you ever see gay guys when they're cruising, when they're looking for a man, they be checking out all the fellas? <laughs> new, 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 new. Then they find the guy they're looking for. Bitch, please. Oh, <laughs> um, I dropped my pocketbook. Don't worry, I'll get it. <laughs> I think he's bionic. <laughs> I never forget the first time I got busted. I was on Christopher Street, a homo street in New York, selling reefer. And the cop that busted me was an undercover cop. He had on blue jeans, sneakers, a little dungaree hat. So I didn't know whether he was a cop or a gay guy. All I, all I know is he had a big 38. And he looked at me and said, come here. I looked at that big 38 and I said, OK, OK. Then he said, get up against the wall. Put your hands up. Spread your legs. Bend over. I said, I hope he's a cop. <laughs> oh, you got those fucking teeth. Oh, look at that. I wish I had a magnet. I'd go. <laughs> I'm only kidding, my man. All right. <laughs> now, did you get that? Oh, this is my bodyguard. Keep that white girl off my dick. <laughs> He's my man. I'm only kidding, honey. I would fuck you, but my dick be going, no, no. <laughs> no, just beat me up. Just beat me. <laughs> Where you going, my man? You walking out? Don't fucking leave me, OK? I don't know your name, but your lips look familiar. <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding, my man. You got to go? It's OK. Let's go. Oh, I'm really going now. No, 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 no. I'm not gay, unless you got $5. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you where my head's at. I will fuck anything that moves. Hey, yo, I see that, my man. Come here. No? Fuck that. Take it like a man. <laughs> you know, I've been to jail before. You don't know my background, but I grew up in reform schools. I've been to a place called Rackers Island in New York. And I'm going to talk about this shit. I don't know if, if y'all old enough to understand, but in jail, and I'm straight, I ain't never been, ain't nobody ever fucking me. Let's get that straight now. Let's do the joke. <laughs> I see the straight guys in jail fucking the gay guy and condemning him at the same time. True shit. I see the fucking straight guy talking about, you filthy, faggot motherfucker. How can you let me do this? <laughs> and the gay guy looks back and goes, and you know that. <laughs> I didn't think y'all could dig that one. <laughs> How you doing, honey? What's your name? Susan? How you doing? I'm OK. What are you doing later? You fucking him? Ford has a better idea. Are you embarrassed? 
Good, I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm not show me. You said you fuck, fuck anything which moves. Fuck me. I will show fuck. Me, I will fuck anything show that moves. Me. Show me. Show me. Problem, show me. me. God damn it. Where is it? Where is it? I didn't Where mean. I didn't mean for my dick to come out. Why not? I'm only kidding. I wouldn't fuck you with a dog's dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. I didn't, I didn't mean for my... motherfucker, Mont, you cut it. You shut you? up, then. Don't say... Talking to you is it. like jerking off with thick rubber gloves. Wonderful. Hey, yo, I apologize. I didn't know my dick was going to come out. I didn't mean to do that. I'm embarrassed about that. But I will get a lot of jokes. Watch this shit. Y'all want to see something? Watch this shit. <laughs> now fuck with me. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Take all your clothes off. Film this shit, man. <laughs> This is what happens when first cousins marry. When you white folks get drunk, you act like niggas. It makes no difference. Don't if you don't if you don't think God has a sense of humor. Check this bitch out. Are you ready? Huh? I would fuck you, but my dick has standards. <laughs> my pussy ain't. Huh? My pussy doesn't have any standards. <laughs> Your pussy don't have any no. standards? Because you just made a call for my pussy when you said you fuck anything you move. That's and right. I then let... I am moving. I am moving. Okay, Show folks. Me. Folks. Show folks. Show I will now Show prove me. to you that I will fuck anything that moves. I don't care what you do. I am moving, baby, and I, I know. want to see how you fuck me here. Am I embarrassed? No. When y'all leave, I'm going to fuck it. Put your money where you want it. I'll put my dick in your mouth. Show me. Show me. Show, you. Show me. Show you? Turn around, I want to start on the back side. <laughs> Why don't you go somewhere and practice falling down? Because you're lying here, and I came here to put the truth here. To put the truth? Yes. If you say you Okay, okay, me, okay, okay. The I truth, the truth of the fuck fucking me. matter is, no I'm not going to fuck you. Okay. Then tell me that you just lied, and you use your cock to get money and get those cocks on you. If I, I, I use my cock, I use my cock to get money. Ladies and gentlemen, yo, white guys, get this bitch out of here. Please do it. If you want to arrest me, I already have. Your mother's like Humpty Dumpty. First they hump her, then they dump her. Oh, you got some jewelry. Oh, shit, I will fuck you now. For my gyro diamond ring, I, offer, I have the love of God in me for you. Okay, wait a minute. Come here. Help me down, baby. Come here. Help me down. Oh, she shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was a fucking extra. <laughs> you you mean tell me y'all didn't plan her in here? She's for real? This this bitch is for real? Oh shit! Come on, man. She she's really here, for real? Wait, here, here. No, no, no. We're not going to get it. We are going to here. There we have the audience. God damn it! <laughs> See how you white bitches are? <laughs> We all want to watch my, my dick. Hang in there, folks. Like this, hang in there, folks. This is a commercial. <laughs> the national Clavers know who I'm sleeping with. <laughs> the national Clavers know all my newest addictions, obsessions, and mental disorders. The Weekly World News wants to know if I'm an alien. But only star, hungry magazine cares about what you and I really care about. But I'm eating. Do I like onions or anchovy on my pizza? You'll find out all that in Star Hungry magazine. Is this the cuffed or expresso? And they even have the last word of my most intimate secret. <laughs> what flavor thoroughly cake I eat when I am depressed?
Salivating over sly salami? Starving to see Sybil Stroganoff? Steaming to know more about the dumplings on the tip of Liz Taylor's tongue? When you order Charlie Burnett's Guide to Higher Education, this premier issue will be sent to you absolutely free. Feed your face with the facts. Get Star Hungry Magazine and eat, goddammit. Star Hungry Magazine. Oh, this is very quiet. Mmm. Man. Oh, <laughs> and I even give you an autographed napkin. Mm-hmm. Beat my meat to the disco beat. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'll send you the premier issue for Nooks of Charge. Just dial 1-800-CHARLIE. We'll bill you in three low monthly payments of only $99.99 each. Or take advantage of special savings and avoid COD charges by sending $29.95 in cash by midnight tonight to Charlie, Box 1986, Havana, Cuba, 33139. If you're institutionalized, in prison, or an armed veteran, you are under no obligation to order. This offer is void where inhibited and in Alaska. Just think. Merely a scant hour ago, I was contemplating a life of crime, degradation, and ill repute. Well, I'm glad my guide to higher education has shown you the light. Now, you're headed for college. Uh, well, actually, no. No, um, I'm actually heading out dancing with the... Uh, you find a little operator here, King. Yeah. But you know, next fall, you could look me up at Big Bad MIT. I like my men educated. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, listen, you know, I could I could show you the world and show you Paris New York. I think there's a bar in Portsmouth. Hey, weird white boy, you owe me $29.95! Hey! Hey! Hey, if he'd have ordered this video. He'd be alive today. It is a survival guide for steaming dudes everywhere. Take my advice. It's the antidote to angst. Start making sense. Order now. And remember, it's the video cassette for real people. So go out today and pick me up. If you don't buy this cassette, I'm going to pinch his head off. <laughs> Said I'm gonna pinch his head off. That's my line, Charlie. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm only kidding.